Hello, welcome to Core Daily. In today's lesson, yesterday we learned about inline styling. So in today's lesson, you're going to learn about external styling. External styling is where you use an external sheet to make some changes on your HTML. So let's just uh, open and let's just create our HTML script. So this is so. One thing that you have to take note is that you should just take a head. You still have to head. Head. So when you take this head, right, this is the part that you have to listen very carefully. So I've created the head tag. This is the part where I'm going to link my HTML file to the CSS file. So I'm just going to say link and I'm just going to say link. I'm just going to use a link tag. Then I'm just going to add an attribute real. And if you're still con getting confused about it, this just uh, wait a bit. You get to understand it. So I'm just going to add a value of style shit. Then I'm just going to say type. I'm just going to say type then text. I'm going to explain about this, so just be patient a bit. href href and dot css css. So so this link tag we use it to link our CSS files or our external sheets. So this attribute rel style sheet. It defines the type of sheet that we're going to connect with. So we're going to use we're going to use a style sheet. So this is a style sheet. Then it says type. Then I'll just say text or CSS. If you're still not getting this part, just be patient a bit. Then ref href dot CSS. This is whereby we're going to link going to link add the name of our external style sheet. So I'm just going to say main.css. That's the name we're going to use on our external style sheet. So this is created. I'm just going to, oh, okay. So let's just go on here. Okay. Let's just save this before we head into it. say new and I'm just going to say text document then I'm just going to open this okay I'm just going to bring it up to the screen good okay okay so this is going to be our CSS file so I'm just going to save this save as save as then all then I'm just gonna save as main dot CSS I'm just gonna save this on my desktop for now so inside our HTML document I'm just gonna create a paragraph to say this or oh, paragraph this is a paragraph right This is a paragraph. Now, then save this. This is a paragraph. Then another thing that we're going to add is that, so inside our CSS dot main dot CSS file, I'm just going to write a p. Then I'm just going to say I've opened a calibrus, then a closing calibrus. So inside this, I'm just going to say background, background, color. Then I'm just going to say, make it red. Then I'm just going to terminate it. So I'm just going to say save. Then I'm just going to test this on a browser. Did I save this? Okay, just to 
make sure. Okay, then I'm just gonna test this. So as you can see, this CSS file has made this, sorry, this CSS, oops, where is my CSS file? Okay, this CSS file has made some changes inside our HTML file. That's the reason why we call it external styling, because we are not styling our website inside the HTML code. We are, we, are, we are styling our HTML script outside the HTML script. So that's the use of styling. So the other thing that you have to know when you're using CSS, there's what there are parts what you call, there are those what you call IDs and classes. You learn that when you get to, to, to study, uh, when you start studying on CSS. So this is just a brief keep, uh, just a brief information on cascading style sheets. So I've just uh, given you this information, just a small amount of it. But just to learn more, you can also check off our series on CSS or in the month of February 2016, which you there as an I, I from, from India, she will teach you on cascading style sheet. So this, I've just given you just a short information on it. So that's just a briefly clip on external styling. So I hope you learned something. If you have any other question, just get in touch on our social media and I'll get back to you. So guys, hope you, you, you have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow in our next lesson. Thanks guys.